Ron, you're a very, um, you're like a, a hired gun to be a CEO of an important company. Why are you working in agriculture? Why is this important? And is this the pinnacle of your career? Like, like, is this, is this, are you proud to be doing this? And what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, we're on? Yep. Thank you. Uh, very excited to be here. And why I came to Indigo had all to do with the planet and the so challenge. Indigo. Indigo Ag is our company. And that's where I, why I came to join the company. And what we do is really focus on the science and technologies that allow us to really bring the farmers to play a huge role in tackling climate change. Inside of there, what motivated me was we have six years left before we have to address the two degrees, and it's climbing at this current rate. We have to put value on all these natural resources that we have inside the planet, and that has an economic impact. Putting those two things together, it has been far and away the biggest personal challenge I've ever taken on in my career. And I've run a bunch of different companies. I've worked with open source early on in the Linux world. So I've seen a lot of different things. This one is the most complex supply chain that we have in front of us. So yeah, I just wanted, you know, we're gonna edit this into a documentary, but I wanted to highlight that you're someone who could be, you're, you're in demand to run a lot of companies. And you chose agriculture yep. and you chose now. Yeah. So um, AI, are, is your intervention with farmers and with the land and with the planet, does it involve AI? Is AI an afterthought? Is it core? And how's that going? Yeah, AI and ML are absolutely core to what we're doing. And what we see there and what our scientists, our data scientists and our physical sciences folks who work with the farmers are working on is really great, exciting technologies that allow us to actually measure for the first time true outcomes of what's happening in the soil when people make regenerative farming practices. So we actually have the scientific capability by using AI and ML to gather all the data, to put the data together using hybrid, a um, hybrid model with sensing, sensing, remote sensing, combined, combined with physical soil samples to actually go through a life cycle of what's happening as the practice changes get made to the farmer. Now, when this country was formed about 250 years ago, there were a lot of farmers. Yep. Uh, I think today less than 1% of 1% of Americans yeah. identify as farmers. I'm, I'm curious, how can this idea scale to have impact by the end of the decade? Because if, if this is going to kick in 100 years from now, I feel like it's a nice to have. It's not going to be part of the solution. And I'm wondering, do you feel passionate about the strategy that you're developing that it can be one of the things that makes a real difference? Yeah. Or is this just a vanity play that you can say you're trying to do something green, but it's not clear if it's going to go anywhere. So elaborate. No, it's, a, it's a fun question. Yeah. So yes, the number of farmers, there's less of them out there. And that actually creates one of the problems that AI and ML play a role in helping. They don't have as much time in their day to service it. If you focus on North America, there's about 2.2 million farmers we're down to. And they produce, and about 200,000 of them produce 80% of the crops in the US as an example. We're past actually just testing and doing that from a vanity perspective. We're actually able to deliver, and we've delivered now five classes of scope three work at Indigo Ag for the businesses. We've brought money to the farmer, five to 8% premiums are what the farmers are now seeing for taking on these practice changes. And we've also let the farmer monetize this another way with, with carbon insets and offsets are their two choices. All right, so last question. You see that camera over there? Yes, sir. I want you to look into that camera and, and say something counterintuitive that people don't realize or say something that you think is really important that people need to tell their friends, their spouses, their, their network about what you're doing as a way to help get it momentum, exposure, and mind share. We have to valorize the farmer. The farmer is the person who does the work and we need to pay that farmer. So we have to make sure the incentive structure that we're giving the farmers is a durable one, both in length of time, as well as that journey that they go on for regenerative farming. 
we can save four to six billion tons we can sequester of carbon into the soil by 2030 using roughly the 38 percent of the land mass that's out there today for farming. Farmers can make the difference for us. We just have to put the system in place, and a lot of people want to do that.